I'm really excited to be here in my capacity as U.S. Science Envoy. My name is Pranay Hanarang. I'm on the faculty at UCLA. I'm a quantum scientist, a technologist, and I'm really excited to have had the chance to talk with scientists, engineers here in the Czech Republic towards strengthening U.S. Czech ties. So I have a really fun job. I work as a scientist in the field of quantum science. Some of you might have watched the show Big Bang Theory. So unlike Sheldon, I get to not only think about cool topics in theory, develop new experiments, I also get to communicate them to uh, the broader community. One of the things I work on and something that's been of mutual interest, I've talked with colleagues here in the Czech Republic about, is how can we use quantum computers to understand our, our universe better. So we've been thinking about developing new algorithms that would run on future quantum computers. We've been thinking about how you can actually make these algorithms run on devices today and also devices that will become available in the near future. For those of you not familiar with quantum computing, quantum computing is essentially a way that we could access properties and computation that you cannot get even with the biggest, baddest classical computers. So this could be predicting new materials, new molecules that enable energy technologies. This could be thinking about ways of prediction for new climate models. This could involve um, essentially sensing in, in the environment, learning more about air quality. There are just many applications of quantum computing and quantum technologies in general that we're exploring. And visiting here, I've had the opportunity to discuss how the Czech community, Czech scientific community, is thinking about these problems and how we might be able to collaborate in future. Absolutely. So I had a chance to visit the uh, supercomputing center in Ostrava and they're installing a new quantum computer there. It will be co-located with their large classical computers and this really presents an opportunity to do types of calculations we simply cannot do today. I also got a chance to see many things across the country that uh, involve pieces, building blocks that could go into future quantum computers, that could go into future quantum sensors and quantum networks. This is a fun question. So one of the uh, trips involved, uh, actually one of the days involved being in Brno, and I got a chance to visit uh, Super Panda Circus there. And that is something I'm going to take back with me for sure. It's a really fun experience. On a more serious note, I identified that there were opportunities for collaboration in quantum materials, opportunities for collaboration with the Eli beam lines, on types of experiments we can do um, in, in these ultra-fast uh, beam lines uh, scenarios that they're setting up, and I think that there'll be a lot more in, in future. considering a career in STEM, regardless of what stage you're at, whether you're in middle school, high school, college, or rethinking what you're doing in, in your uh, day job, I strongly encourage you to view this as a field that's for you. And one of the reasons I say that is, uh, of course, we have a representation challenge in STEM, representation of women and it can seem intimidating to join the field, but it is a lot of fun. And that's, uh, so if you wanna do something fun for your job, this is the field for you. And I encourage you to think about quantum science and technology in particular. <laughs>